Well, good morning to the both of you. The alderman for this area says that the victim is just out of surgery and is still in critical condition after being shot three times by suspects that showed no mercy. Now, the video we are about to show you as a fair warning is graphic. A home surveillance camera near the intersection of Webster and Wayne captures a car turning off Webster around 3 this morning. The people inside then wait for their victim, who was walking down Webster. Once they spot him, a suspect pulls out a gun and appears to be trying to rob the man. The victim begins to fight with the suspect. After a short scuffle, we've stopped the video here because this is when the victim was first shot. Not long after, the other suspect fires two shots into the victim. The, uh, the fatal shot could have uh, occurred if it was directly into the head. Uh, it was a glancing shot to the head, so uh, that, that gives him a chance at life. The bag the victim dropped during the attack was still on the sidewalk this morning. It may help identify the victim by retracing his steps to the store. Second Ward Alderman Brian Hopkins says no one in the neighborhood recognized him from the video, but did say he was in his 20s or 30s. The, the victim's identification apparently was in his backpack, and the backpack was stolen. So at this point, we don't have any ID on him. Uh, he is uh, still under sedation from the emergency surgery. The alderman says detectives have collected a number of videos from home surveillance systems, and along with the video from people's homes, Hopkins says city cameras cover most of the high traffic spots in the area. We're watching our city decline into criminal lawlessness. You know, there literally is not a neighborhood in Chicago that is immune from this now. It happens everywhere. It can happen at any time, and it's just terrifying to people. This has to stop. We have to turn this around. We as a society can't live like this. And this may not have been the only crime committed by these two suspects. DePaul University sent out an alert saying that a student had been robbed and the getaway car used in that robbery was also a white car like you saw there in our video. Now, the uh, victim in the DePaul case, however, was not hurt, but much more to come on this investigation. For now, we are live in Lincoln Park. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. Thank you, Eric.